British Bitcoin podcaster Peter McCormack acquired his local football, sorry, soccer club, Bedford FC, in December 2021. Combining his loves for Bitcoin and football, he renamed the club Real Bedford and onboarded Bitcoin-friendly sponsors, including Gemini and Casa. Equipped with a Bitcoin treasury and supported by the global consortium of more than 150 million Bitcoin hodlers, McCormack explains the team aspires to reach the Premier League, the pinnacle of English Football League excellence. Cointelegraph visited the club on the first match of the 2022 season to watch a game, pay for pints, burgers and even football shirts with Bitcoin and engage in a light-hearted post-match interview with McCormack. I wanted to introduce a speed round. All right. So it's quick questions, yeah? And I've made them personal to you or to Bedford or okay. to Bitcoin, okay? You'll see a bit of a theme going throughout. But basically, I'm going to give you three seconds to answer each question. You know, maybe five if you really have to think about it. Are you ready? I'm ready. So number one, you've got to choose one here. Bedford to win the league this year or Tottenham Hotspur to be rele relegated? Bedford to win the league. <laughs> Bitcoin above or sub 30k by December 31st? Sub. Big night out in Las Vegas or the Rose still close? It's a local pub. Rose still close? How do you know that? Did my son tell you? No, my friends are in Bedford. Uh, so, I've so, done Rose still close a few times. So do you know why that's funny? It's like I used to go to the Rose as a kid. Okay. My son's now 18. He goes there and he invited me down. He's like, come on, dad, Rose still close. I was like, come on, you can't say that to me. <laughs> yeah, Rose still close. Yeah, so I'm probably the generation between, you know, your son and. I mean, I'm saying know. that proud. To be honest, I'd much rather be in Vegas. I'm too old for the rose. I'd look I creepy in there. I bet. Okay. Um, if you could choose, which country would adopt Bitcoin as legal tender next? That's a great question. Ah, oh, America. Nice. Choose one: a good podcast or a good audiobook. A uh, good audiobook. Choose your fighter: Nick Carter or Corey Clipston. Hmm. What are they fighting for? They're both my friends. Yeah, I know, this is why it's such a tricky one. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to pick Nick Carter, but I'm going to explain it. Uh, I want to know what arena you're seeing them fighting in as well. Well, it's just, <laughs> Corey does, you know, Corey's, Corey's fine at the moment. This, could be, this could be Tekken. This could be a game of Mario Kart. This could be... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think Corey needs help. So I pick Nick, because Corey's, Corey's killing everyone. Uh, I like the way you think that. Okay, nice. Uh, Cointelegraph or Coindesk? Oh, coin Telegraph, come on, man. Nice, nice. I just thought in response to that last question. Yeah, it's easy. Split. That's okay. easy. Um, coin Telegraph are here. Yeah, that's Oh, coin does, coin does not visited. Yeah, where the f are you? Barry, come on. <laughs> Good. Um, Bedford or Texas? Bedford. Okay, wow, you really do look like Bedford. It's coming through. Okay, finish the phrase here. I'm, I'm going to test your sort of Bitcoin or meme knowledge. So, have fun staying blank. Poor. There is no blank best. Second. You will, you will own nothing and you will be blank. Happy. Stay blank, stack sats. Uh, stay humble, stack sats. Very good, okay, cool. And this is a biology question, which is probably not gonna make the cut for the YouTube video. But, um, <laughs> so one sperm contains 37 megabytes of DNA information. Okay. Which database has more? One ejaculation or the entirety of the Bitcoin network? Well, wow, so the entirety of the Bitcoin network is about, we are about 400 gigabyte now? And one sperm has, <laughs> 37 I mean, megabytes. and uh, I mean, and there's got to be a lot of, it's probably got to be the sperm because there'll be loads in there. Nice, yeah. Correct, Easy, correct. it's probably absolutely not even close. Do you want the, do you want the stats? Yeah, yeah so, go on. I mean, I know this morning it was about 580 gigabytes, uh, the Bitcoin network, and uh, one uh, ejaculate is 15,875 gigabytes of DNA information. Not even close. Which is about 130 MacBook Pros. So, wow. You know, to visualize it, yeah. So there you go. That's so, a weird question. I like it. That should yeah. make it. So it's, yeah, a bit off the wall. Um, is there anything else you'd like Who to share? Who do you share? support? In, in the Premier League? In football, generally. Uh, Man United for my sins. Okay. Yeah. Man United to win the league or Bedford to get in the Premier League? Oh, that's. But, but, I mean, Man United want loads. Can you imagine Bedford getting in the Would Premier League? Would that be League? hilarious? <laughs> Is that seven years away or nine? Nine. Okay, six leagues. I, I said mean. ten. I, I said we'd, one year we won't go up. 
What I'm looking forward to is Bedford playing Oxford City because that'll be like the Bitcoin standoff. I think, I think we're going to play in, in a friendly next season. No way. Yeah, oh, we, like a Bitcoin meetup. Yeah, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. Yeah. Nice. So how do you feel first game of the season, 3-0? It's like a post-match interview. Oh, I know. Go? I know. Um, God, real mixed feelings. Like relieved we won. Relieved cause, bet, yeah. because you've put so much into it. You just want three points. Uh, so proud of the team for the amazing performance they put in and now, everything our manager Rob's done, he's worked so hard over the summer. Mm -hmm. And then everyone you know, behind the scenes that's made this happen. If you were here six months ago, you would have seen the different boardings, you know, the pitch wasn't great. Um, you know, we put in this irrigation system wow. that, that has made this pitch, pitch amazing to play on. And you know, we've sorted out the changing rooms and we've put all the signage up and we've you know, organized the F and B. We've put so much into it. Um, and to see it all come together, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's really cool and yeah. yeah, I'm really proud and, and just grateful to everyone who's got involved. Yeah, I mean, the first two goals in, within the first 10 minutes, it was a very confident Five win, minutes. So. Or was it first five? Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. I mean, it's Kevin, did you, did you see that first goal? Yeah, you actually pinged it in from the outside of the box. I it can't was, wait to see the highlights yeah. later. But Of course, because you stream it to yeah, the Bitcoiners around the world. So that was a perfect start. That was like, mm. oh, and then another one of five minutes, you're like, oh, I can relax now. Yeah. And then you start thinking, shit, if they get one, yeah. what happens but but no honestly I'm happy and relieved and just now it's it's this funny thing now it's like all I'm thinking about is next Saturday I bet let's go again yeah let's yeah let's go again LFG um, so what was the original vision can you remind people of wh when this all came about like, what, why did you, you want to buy a football club of all things and yeah. make it you know the B for Bedford obviously rings true there and what was Bitcoin in it as well yeah it's good good question I mean look I uh, my dad would tell you this ever since I was a little kid. I always said I wanted to buy Bedford. I wanted to buy Bedford Town next door. That's a local okay. team. Um, but I always felt like our town could support a team in the Football League. Um, you know, people who don't understand English football, there's four professional divisions. The Premier League, Championship, League One, League Two. We have a population of 174,000 people here. And there are teams with smaller, there are towns with sm you know, less people who've been in the Premier League. So mm. I think our town can support league football. My goal was to buy a team and get them in the league. Bedford Town next door are doing really well, having a good shot of it. They're up at step three, we're step six. Six promotions away. I've wound people up and said we're going to get the Premier League. But the truth is, is I want to bring league football. I didn't ever know how I could do it. And then you know, with my podcast and Bitcoin, you know, I suddenly have access to a, a, a two important things. Sponsors who will invest the money to allow us to do everything we've done here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, followers you know, who follow my podcast who will support it. So we had a bunch of Bitcoiners here today, a bunch online watching it, people who've bought shirts and merchandise. And so that that was the nucleus of being able to do this. And yeah, look, it's, um, yeah, it's really cool. And what about the bear market? Has that not posed any challenges to managing a football club that running is running with Bitcoin? I mean, our biggest challenge is, is our sponsors of Bitcoin companies. Yeah, you know, we are in a good position because they've you know, paid very good money to sponsor this and we've created some you know, exposure for them. And, uh, yeah, at some point towards the end of the season, I need to go back to them and say, like, we deliver, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we're promoted and it's all going very well. But I need to go back to them and say, OK, we need to go to the next level. OK, I need you to sponsor again. And you know, we don't know what you know, when these companies will have the money to do that. I mean, is it still in a bear market? Perhaps not. And that's mm. that's one of the challenges of this. But yeah. We'll deal with that then. Right now, we've got to go and win the league. 